What's up, guys? It's the phenomenal AJ Styles, and you're watching Brett Out Live. What's going on, guys? Brett Live back with another video, and today we have two packages from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, where you can use discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10% off. WrestlingFigures.com, feel free. Ringside Collectibles, baby. As you guys know, I've been on vacation for the past eight days. Days. Bird Alive is back in town, baby! And we got two Ring Side Collectibles boxes right here. And we're not only gonna be opening the boxes, we're gonna be opening the figures in this video. I only cut the tape so it's gonna be easier here in the video. So without further ado, let's do it. As you guys know, protective paper as always on the top. Oh, yes. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Greatest hits. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Oh! Oh, the updated skin tone looks so freaking cool. Wow, dude, that is so awesome. Wow, oh, and the other one in the set. Of course, the other one in the series, we do have the Charlotte, which I'm curious to see if they gave her butterfly joints, and I'm curious to see the differences on her. Obviously, the Hogan, very noticeable differences on the Hogan, right? But the Charlotte, that one is yet to be known. I'm curious to see if she has new hip displacements, if she has new butterflies, I'm really curious. So I'm gonna get the old Ultimate Editions, we're gonna do some, uh, do some comparisons later in the video. I wanna get the other box open, as you can see, this thing's completely sealed. I didn't get around to cutting this one open until the video started and also from ringside collectibles wrestling figures.com we're literally cracking it open right now live here in this video oh i see some blood baby blood and guts we got the second ever Brody King and we got Darby Allen, man. This is freaking wicked. Got the blood and guts. Darby Allen, Brody King from their absolutely insane match on Dynamite Quake by the Lake in 2022. If you guys remember, it was an absolute blood bath. Blood bath. It's hard to say. Blood bath. Um, absolutely insane matchup they had here. It's coming with a literal skateboard that has tacks in it, which is insane. We're gonna be cracking this open also in this video. This one is a ringside exclusive though. So this one, the only place you can get this pack right here is ringside collectibles, wrestlingfigures.com. Let's start off with the Ultimate Editions. Here is Charlotte Flair in the Greatest Hits Ultimate Edition line. Do you guys remember when the original one came out? Here's my original one right here. Looking fantastic and looking very similar to this one. That's why I'm so curious to see what is new about the new Greatest Hits. What did they change? Skin tone, head scan paint, articulation? I'm curious. Anything? Did they change anything? I'm gonna fill you guys in in this video. We got the original, which I believe was an Amazon exclusive. I could be wrong, but I remember being super excited to get this figure right here and now we have the greatest hitch with it which i think is absolutely insane here's a look at the packaging it says charlotte flair at the top it is sporting your classic ultimate edition style packaging that we've seen before nothing too crazy new there she is on the back on smackdown live doing that moonsault off the top rope as you can see it tells us that it's a greatest hits right there you can see a picture of the real woman some of her info there and more some info there charlotte's accessories let's take a look when this figure first came out all those years ago i was blown away by the head scans and i still am M. We got a smiling head over here, more of a just a relaxed face over here. I like the hair detail, looking really realistic, going all the way around to the front. Most of her hair is going to the front. There's only some in the back, which is pretty nice. Interchangeable hands, we do have some microphone holding hands, some interesting relaxed hands right here, and then more relaxed hands over here. This cloth good is still amazing. Did they change anything about it from the original? No, they did not, but wow, this cloth good is still absolutely just insane, and it still blows me away. The different little fuzzy material up there, it is is Velcro in the front, so if you guys are wondering how you take it off, that is how you do it. Some really cool silver peacocks are in it, so you can see a silver peacock there, some silver studs going around the shoulders. There is some extra cloth here that could hang down from her arms when she sends her arms to the side to do a little taunt during her entrance. It says flare on her back, and then you do have some more peacock feathers there, some more peacocks at the bottom. This is just an absolutely beautiful robe, and when it's on the figure, you actually do have some extra cloth laying in the back, which is really nice. Here's our new Charlotte Ultimate Edition. I'm just kidding. This is actually the old one. Here's the new one right here. Obviously, I just have the interchangeable head sculpt on. But yeah, this is the old one right here. And as you can tell, there are no differences whatsoever. It's basically the same figure. No updated articulation. It's basically just a re-released Ultimate Edition, which I'm fine with because a lot of people did miss out on this Charlotte figure when it did release. Because I believe it was an Amazon exclusive and a lot of people like didn't catch it in time. Got an awesome attire on with some really cool designs on her top. Main colors pink, a little purple in there. No butterfly joints, which I was a little disappointed by. I thought they were going to 
upgrade that. You, you, you can see some tattoos on her wrist, a little heart there, a little quote there, a little cross coming out of the bottom of her top, a little quote there, some really cool tattoos throughout it. The face looks ultra realistic. Look at her bottoms looking really nice. Nice little design with the pink coloring, the little feathers, some awesome multicolored knee pads right here with some cool peach. And then you have some pink up top. It says CF on the side for Charlotte Flair. And you have some nice black outlining with toe articulation. This is a solid figure. Let's put both robes on both figures. And there they both are, the original Ultimate Edition Charlotte and the new Greatest Hits Charlotte. And don't think that's just a new head scan. The new, the new Greatest Hits also came with the same head scan that I have on the original, but I just wanted to keep it a little different. And so I'm going to be displaying them, one with the smiling, one with basically just the, you know, non-teeth head scan, if you will. But I think both of these look really well. If you missed out on the original Charlotte, I recommend the new Greatest Hits. If you didn't miss out on the old Charlotte, I don't recommend the new Greatest Hits. It's the same exact figure. Oh, brother, 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 brother. We got Hulk Hogan. Yes, I already know there's a difference on this one compared to the original because we got that updated skin tone and you already know who we got up on deck, who we got up on standby. We got the original. Hold on, hold on. Take those darn glasses off. Get them off. There we go. The original Hogan Ultimate Edition. Great figure when it first came out. My goodness. But now, seeing this updated articulation, wow, I am excited for this new Greatest Hits Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. We're going to be getting them out very, very soon here. Let's take a look at the packaging first. Nothing too crazy different compared to, to the original. There he is on the back. Greatest Hits. You can tell with the little logo right there. There's a little info about the man right there. There's a little more info on the Hulkster there. And we are going to get my boy out of the package right now. Too sweet. Accessories for Hulk Hogan. Let's jump into it because my goodness, there's a ton. The three interchangeable heads we are seeing all looking amazing with the updated skin tone. Goodness, did the upgrade come in clutch for these head skins. Yes, I'm talking about the skin tone. The hair even comes out better. It just freaking it pops way more. I don't know. What do you guys think of the new skin tone? Here's a quick little comparison. You guys could start seeing the skin tone difference here. Obviously, this is the original Hogan here in my right hand compared to the new skin tone. Obviously way tanner, if you will. A little WWE fan talk show reference. Tanner Black, baby. But yeah, isn't that crazy? I love that. We do have the NWO WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Fisted interchangeable hands. Open interchangeable hands with sort of like that glove design. We have the black and white rubber boa. A straight up NWO weight belt with no belt upgrade yet. We still have the four studs in the front, which is annoying. The Hollywood buff or bandana, if you will. The white rimmed glasses with the black lenses. And a white NWO shirt that tears in the front. And he does have some little cuts in the back too. How cool is that? I totally forgot how awesome the original Ultimate Edition Hogan is. It's been on my shelf for a minute now and I haven't taken it down to pose it around in a long time. So taking all the accessories off, really feeling, feeling this figure around like wow, it is amazing. But wow, what an upgrade. Come on, look at this dude. Which one do you guys like better? Be honest in the comment section down below. Do you guys like more of the tanner look or the more lighter look? Let me know. Seriously, I, I you don't you have to just be like, oh yeah, I love the tan look because I do. I do prefer the tan look. I think it looks fantastic. I do have him sporting this interchangeable head skin, even though he comes with three. I think this one looks really solid. Upgraded diaphragm joint here and butterfly joint. Did anybody else have an issue on the last Hogan Ultimate? These butterfly joints did not work. They did not work for crap. Look at that. They do not work. Like they're there, but they do not work. On the new one, they work like freaking butter dude they feel amazing pinless elbows there's another upgrade i'm going to try to point out all the upgrades on the hogan uh, it's crazy there was no upgrades on the charlotte but the hogan has all the upgrades white wrist tape black gloves looking fantastic the pants are the exact same no hip displacements if you guys are wondering all that stuff is the same i love the lightning bolts on the side knee pads still same thing there hollywood on the back same thing there lightning bolts the boots look the same love the logo on the boots my goodness hogan had some kick butt boots dude wow you're gonna deck both of them out with the accessories right now so let's do it and just like that we got the og ultimate edition hollywood hogan and the new greatest hits hollywood hogan which one do you guys like better officially down in the comment section down below now that i have all the accessories on both let me know i think they both look freaking fantastic i do prefer the new greatest hits i'm not gonna lie with the new skin tone here's our newest ringside collectibles exclusive pack we got the blood and guts Last man standing match between 
Brody King and Darby Allen. This is a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. That's the only place you can get it, that being WrestlingFigures.com. We are going to be getting it open right now in this same video. I'm really excited to do so. Look at all the blood all over the plastic, looking crazy. Here's a look at the back, a little photo from that match when he was hanging my boy Brody King with a steel chain over the top rope. How crazy is that? All this blood, too. You can like feel all this, too, which is pretty cool. It's got like that laminated feel to it, which is really cool. There are both signatures there. A little read up there. And without further ado, let's get both of these guys right out of the box. Starting first with Darby Allen, we are seeing two sets of interchangeable hands. That being fisted interchangeable hands with some really nice tattoo detail and some blood design on the fists, which is pretty freaking insane. Very similar stuff going on here with the open interchangeable hands. And look at his fingernails over here. They're painted red, or is that blood? We we might we may never know. I think it may, I think they may be painted red though. Uh, you can see some more tattoo detail on his left hand. Two interchangeable head scans that we've seen in the past, just obviously repainted with some really nice blood design. You can see some blood splatter. All over his face, open mouth looking fantastic right here. And if you look closely too, the face paint is super faded too. You can tell it's like nearing the end of the match because the face paint is super faded, which is awesome. This hair is a little more cleaner than this hair, which I think is really unique. So both head scans have their perks. I think they look really nice. This is an absolutely insane accessory. You can see a skateboard with no wheels, but tacks. You can feel these little things. Look at them. They're little studs sticking off the bottom of the freaking uh, skateboard right here. You could feel them. You could whack it over a superstar's back. There's some blood design. It says Darby, but it's all like weathered and beat up. Even on the top, there's some chips. There's some cuts around the corners. There's even some blood design on the top of the skateboard as well. That's freaking insane. It's coming with a little metal chain. How you put this on? Just remove the interchangeable head scan. Here is Darby Allen looking fantastic with his blood attire. He does not have as much blood as Brody King. We'll be getting into Brody King very soon here, but as you can see, I kind of already mentioned it, but with the head scan, there's some minor blood splatter going around the face, on his forehead, by his eyes, on his tattoos. Check this out. Nothing's over till you're underground, and also ain't life grand. How crazy is that? You can see some cool like face paint being smeared on his body right here. I love this torso for Darby. I think it really resembles his look. You can see some more face paint over here. Are those bruises? Those could be bruises. I don't know, man. There's some more freaking paint splatter over here. Nice little handprint on his right shoulder. This tattoo detail on his left arm is crazy. Full sleeve, and if you look closely, it's sort of like a bone of his arm, but it's a tattoo. How crazy is that? White wrist tape on both hands and wrists. The pants look sick. You got some unique white designs on the front with some red blood splatter letter on black. Red on black looks really clean. Look, look at that. You can see some blood. It just looks really natural. And you can see the uh, silver studs at the bottom of the pants. Got double jointed knees as well as the classic Darby Allen style boots with a little uh, yellow stripe. But here's Darby Allen with his interchangeable head sculpt. That being the open mouth one, which I do prefer over just the basic smug one. Because I mean, dude, he's bloody. He's going to have an open mouth. He's going to be going crazy. And that board in his hand, that's exactly how I'm displaying it. It looks sick. Brody King has so much blood on his freaking head sculpts. Look at this. This. First of all, love his new head scans. Wow. Open mouth, gritted teeth. Those are always great combos for interchangeable heads. Look at all the blood on my boy right here. And his beard, you can even still see his gray. His hair is still slicked back. It's a little messier on this one. And it's kind of clean on this one. So this might be, might have been when he just got busted open. And sort of like later match. Because look at how messy the hair is and how clean the hair is. Very unique attention to detail by uh, Jazzwares there. You can see the design on the side as well. Looking pretty freaking fire. Two sets of interchangeable hands. Very bloody interchangeable hands. We got some open interchangeable hands here with black wrist tape with some bloody fingers. And then we do have some bloody fists right here with uh, black wrist tape as well. And he is coming with a chain that in the match, uh, Darby Allen actually hung him by this. And you can actually use this for John Cena too if you really wanted to because you do have the little uh, chain uh, lock at the bottom there. Pretty nice chain. And you put it on the figure by removing the interchangeable head. We got a Brody King recently in our unmatched line. So I wanted to get it up here and put it side by side with the new blood and guts. There you go. How crazy is that? And here's our new Blood and Guts Brody King. This head scan, once again, looks absolutely insane. The blood continues on to his tattooed chest. The tattoos are crazy, but with the blood design on top of it, it looks even crazier. Full sleeved arm tattoos right here, which look wicked with some double jointed elbows. Got more tattoos on his back. When I first saw the Brody King figure in the Unmatched line, I was just flipping out. I was so excited to have it. And now that I have another Brody King, but this time with blood, bro, you literally can't beat that. He's got a house of black 
Black logo on his front of his trunks, and then a House of Black logo on the back of his trunks. More tattoo detail on his thighs and legs. I think Bro's plan is to have no skin tone seen on his body. I think he just wants all tattoo art on his body, which, hey, I respect it. It looks freaking sick. You could see uh, another House of Black logo on his left knee pad. His boots are sick with these white flames, and you could even see more tattoo detail above where it swivels. How sick is that? Even look at this blood on the boots, too, bro. I think this blood and guts two-pack is absolutely insane. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. They ring site collectible exclusive. That is the only place you can get it, so if you guys are interested in it, check it out. That's about gonna wrap it up for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. That was a bunch of new wrestling figures. Uh, we got the greatest hits, Charlotte and Hulk Hogan, and the newest ring site collectibles exclusive, Brody King and Darby Allen Blood and Guts 2-pack. Crazy figures for you from ring site collectibles, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Stay tuned for more videos. Back Now that I'm back from vacation, there's gonna be a lot more bangers dropping into the channel, so stay tuned for them, and I will see you guys next time. Bird Alive is signing out. Yeah.